Welcome, today I will present KPPR, exploiting momentum contrast for point cloud based place recognition. Place recognition answers the question, where am I? Or haven't I seen this place before? And is one key concept for global localization or to find loop closure candidates in SLAM. For solving the task, one tries to compare the observations of your local surrounding with a given previously recorded map. This map now works as our database, which we want to query by our current observations. The database, as well as the query, consists of local point clouds. What we now want to compute is a similarity between the query point cloud and the entries in our database. Our current location is then hopefully the position of the most similar entry. For computing the similarity, we basically use a learned bag of geometric words. We use a neural network to extract for each point cloud one global descriptor vector, which encodes the geometric information of the scene. Finding the correct location translates now to finding the corresponding descriptor in the database. To learn meaningful and descriptive features, from the point clouds, one usually uses contrastive learning. First thing is to compute the descriptor from the query location. Second, one computes the descriptor from a close by location, the so-called positive. Now we want that the descriptor from the query and from the positive are very similar. So we use an attraction loss, which pulls the vectors together. We also compute a descriptor from a different location, the so-called negative which we want to be dissimilar from the query, therefore using a repulsion loss that pushes the descriptors apart. Since most locations look completely different from each other, it is very easy to make their descriptors dissimilar. Therefore, it is very important to find hard negatives, which look similar to the query, but are actually from completely different locations. Usually one can say, the more negatives we can mine, the better the performance. But also, the slower the training time. Many training techniques spend around 80% of the time only for mining the hard negatives, and by this making the training very time intensive. Instead of using the classical Siamese network and recompute the negatives, we use something called a feature bank. We simply buffer the positives from the previous queries in the feature bank. These descriptors can then be mined for hard negatives of the current query. Instead of the Siamese network, we now have one network for the queries, which gets normally updated with an atom optimizer. And additionally, we have a second network for the positives, which gets only slowly updated with a momentum update. This improves the stability of the training. The advantage of the feature bank is that we can have a lot of potential negatives at basically no cost. We can see here in blue the performance for the classical method in mining up to 18 negatives. Compared to this in red, we can see the results for the feature bank with 15,000 descriptors. The feature bank does not only increase the performance even further, but also reduces the training time substantially. It is even faster than using only one negative. For the backbone, we use a KPCOM stem architecture that first extract local features, which then gets accumulated to one global descriptor. Our first part of the network is a pre-trained compression encoder, which substantially reduces the number of points. By freezing this part of the network, we can further reduce the training time. In the following convolutional stem, we can bypass a lot of redundant computations, like searching for nearest neighbors, due to the stem architecture. This again reduces the training time by another 50%. This is, for example, the result of our approach in a business district in Singapore. In blue, we have our database consisting of the locations, the local point clouds and our computer descriptors as keys. When driving now at a different point in time through the environment, we now want to find the corresponding entry in the database. So we compute the local descriptor of our current surrounding and, the query, and query the database. Here we always show the closest match in the database and visualize if it was a correct or wrong match. Green point clouds or positions have been correctly matched, while red ones belong to wrong matches. 
we can see that our approach is able to localize most of the time only using the closest position. Overall, we evaluated on these four common datasets. The numbers presented here are the average recall rates at a threshold of 1% of the database size. We are able to outperform the baselines on most of the datasets. Notably, all the approaches have only been trained on the Oxford Robocar dataset, showing our good generalizability. To sum this up, we proposed a reliable point cloud-based place recognition approach with a special focus on reducing training time. For this, we ex first exploited the concept of feature banks, and then additionally we utilized a pre-trained encoder network along with a convolutional stem. Thank you very much for your attention.